Hi guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking all things feminism and fashion with our very own feminist. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me okay. here. <laughs> so, describe what feminism means to you. So feminism simply means equality for me yeah. between men and women. That's all it is personally. Um, lots of people obviously do misinterpret and misuse the term feminist and feminism mm. just because it is all about women, the term itself. People often think it's women hating on men yeah. and kind of hating their position in society when in reality it's just women wanting equal opportunities and chances as men have in life and society in general. Yeah, completely. I mean, at the end of the day, the definition is simply equality. And I yeah. feel like that is so unknowledged, especially by young people. So that's why today we're sitting here and I've created, you know, this platform inviting young women and old women. Like, I feel like I just want to make awareness, normalise the word, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, of course. Because, you know, I had no idea about you know what a feminist or feminism was and for me being in the fashion industry I then all of a sudden was seeing it on clothing and I was like well hold on what is this yeah and then you know like celebrities supporting it and things like that it just opens it, it up yeah. to many people like it really has become such a controversial topic tell me does being a feminist influence your life or how you live your life in yeah. any way? It doesn't affect any of the decisions I make in my life whatsoever. Mm. It's more of just a case, a case of being aware of what's going on around you. So it's just ensuring that I'm on an equal pay wage yeah. um, as I am to like a man that's in the same position as me mm. in a job and in the workplace. It's just ensuring that I can do everything that I can as a woman to be equal to a man and have those equal opportunities given to us. So um, obviously at the moment in the workplace there is the issue over paternity and maternity leave and obviously there is a slight inequality there between men and women and I think you will always have that. But yeah, in definitely. today's society it's just a case of, well, if I do as a woman have to go on maternity leave just because I'd like to have a child, then why should that deny me of any opportunities of getting promotion than it mm. would to a man? It shouldn't make a difference what kind of position you are in, uh, in your life or in yeah. a company or in the workplace. So I think it's just making sure you do have those equal opportunities to a man in life. Yeah, I mean, I guess it doesn't, you know, influence you as a person, but it just makes you more sort of like aware, aware and you're gonna yeah. take no shit basically. Um, so tell me when this first started, when did you first become passionate about feminism or when did you become a feminist? Yeah. Um, I think for me it all started when I was at university. Mm. Um, so I studied film at university um, and throughout my whole time there I probably only had around two female teachers wow. that were actually yeah. working in the film department which I thought was quite interesting at the time because even though I know and I still know that the film industry is massively male dominated yeah. I didn't quite realise that there was such a divide just because um, with the people that were on my course it was fairly split 50-50 between mm. men and women that were enrolled on it mm. so I didn't think there would be that much of a divide in the industry but that did kind of really show me that there was still one. Yeah. Um, another thing is, is studying film, it does open you up to a lot of difficulties that women have in the industry. Oh, yeah. um, so at the moment there are a lot more male directors than there are female directors, yeah. just because they don't get the same opportunities. Um, males are more likely to get more funding to produce and direct a film than a woman would. So it's just the difficulties in finding the funds for that really and getting noticed and appreciated in the film industry. Um, and another thing as well is it's the same with writers with women as well. And um, I'm a screenwriter and I know that it is a struggle as a woman to get those equal opportunities yeah. as you are to a man. Um, and then another thing that kind of definitely got me interested in it is I had a really inspiring teacher while I was at university. And she was a woman and she written a novel about Nancy Myers, which is one of the most successful Hollywood female yeah. directors that's out there. Um, so I found that really interesting and I did get to study lots of Nancy Myers films. Mm. So I definitely really enjoyed that. And 
it just completely opened up my mindset and it did make me realise the realities yeah. of the film industry and what women need to do to get those equal opportunities. Yeah, and I mean, even in, you know, other industries, apart from film, it is like, it opens you up to all these things that you never thought you would come across in your life, basically. So, um, another book that my teacher wrote was, um, based on Sex in the City oh, and wow. she did look at studies for that and because it's a show and a film about women talking about sex and relationships and, and work fashion. and life, fashion, yeah. the male audience and male viewership they do tend to look down on those particular subjects mm. because they look down upon women in that way. They think that what women discuss isn't important and it's just chit chat and do you yeah. talk if mm, that makes sense. I agree yeah so it's just kind of opening your eyes up to appreciate more films that do feature women mm. so that's tv and film like sex in the city um mamma mia legally mm. blonde everything like that that just can inspire young women yeah definitely why do you think the topic of feminism is so controversial i mean personally i don't think it's a controversial topic right i think Feminism is more heard of in today's society yeah. just because of celebrity. There has been an increase in yeah. discussion, and that's with celebrity culture. Yeah, and that's kind of moved on into being talking about talked about in the news and stories yeah. like that. Um, there's also been quite a lot of changes in the law recently, mm. so I know that an um, upskirting is now an illegal offence, and it's oh, a criminal offence. Yeah. And obviously, we didn't have that kind of protection in place yeah because there was no face in it there was no proof that it's essentially you mm. so it's just kind of taking yeah small steps like small steps we and... are forever gonna have issues but it's one of those things where we have to respect what other people believe in mm. like you all everyone has their own opinions everyone has mm. their own views and being a feminist throughout the years i feel like you learn to respect people that even aren't feminists mm. so you know having feminist friends that like you really empower each other as women but then meeting you know people that don't necessarily like believe in it or are a feminist you have to respect them as much as you would respect a feminist because yeah. at the end of the day everyone does have different opinions yeah of course i think it's important as a feminist to not enforce your particular views mm. upon people as well as long as you're happy with yourself and you're happy with yeah. what you believe in that's, that's, that's absolutely matters. fine yeah. everyone else that, that has an opinion you need to accept their opinion and yeah. let them get on with their life but yeah. feminism should be addressed in today's society and i think it is becoming more and more iconic from mm. being featured in film yeah. fashion and all of these different industries that have a media outlet that can speak to the younger generation and younger audiences, as well as potentially older audience to re-educate them. Yeah, I mean, the definition is so just like blown out of proportion these days. Like people assume that a feminist is someone that, you know, hates men, like it's not at all what it is. And I mean, especially about like Beyonce, yeah, of course. So um, with Beyonce, she had her mm. world tour in the late 2000s. So I think feminism has, has kind of only received its kind of attention yeah. from all of these celebrities with these outlets. So obviously there's Beyonce putting feminism across her world tour yeah. in the late 2000s. And then you've got um, iconic kind of people in British society like Emma Watson mm. as well, speaking out about feminism and the Time's Up movement in America and kind of globally across the world. Yeah. And it does attract, as we said previously, you know, a younger audience. It's so, like, eye-opening, especially to younger people. Like, do young female girls want to sit and watch the news about feminists? Not really. But would they like to see someone, you know, from the fashion industry, like Connor Walker, sitting there addressing this mm -hmm. subject, someone that they're actually interested in? So, yeah. Now, yeah. so, to the most important question of all, does being a feminist influence what you wear? Um, personally, it doesn't affect how I dress or what I wear. I'll wear what I want to wear. Yeah. I don't want anyone to dictate to me what I can and can't wear. Yeah. Obviously, you have certain restrictions in certain workplaces of what you can wear, such as office yeah. attire and things like that. But that's a generalised kind of dress mm. code for everyone. I don't think it should affect you personally. 
I just think it's more about, um, I think the issue lies more within people that comment on what other people are wearing. Yeah. And then they take it out of proportion. Mm. So as long as I think you're happy in what you're wearing, then I don't think it matters how you should dress, even yeah. if you are a feminist. You know, and but, dressing for yourself as well that's yeah. very important thank you everyone for watching we will be back soon thank you so much for joining us that's today okay, and giving us all the insights on feminism yeah. and fashion